All right, everybody, good evening. This is Stellated Odin, and this video is going to be about my ship build. It's a Fleet Tactical Escort Retrofit, aka Defiant class. This is the USS Sao Paulo for those that are DS9 fans, such as myself. This was the name of the second Defiant that Captain Sisko was able to take command of during the Dominion Wars. Anywho, what I wanted to do was make a video about my build, uh, weapons, talents, uh, skills, so on and so forth. I have tried to go over you know, YouTube and other internet sites trying to track down different ideas on how to become effective or more effective with DPS in terms of STF, mainly uh, the Borg STF. So I don't do a lot of the new stuff I do occasionally. Um, but frankly, I find them rather boring. But this is my favorite ship. The ship is pretty badass in my opinion. And I wanted to get viewer input in terms of what they think of my build. If they think it's good. If they think things should be changed. If they have questions about why the heck I chose one thing over another. All those types of comments are welcome. I uh, appreciate constructive criticism a great deal. So let's kick this off. Uh, let's start off with my character's skill points. Um, I'm a tactical officer using an escort ship. So naturally most of my points are spent in tactical systems. Now I've gone in the red on just about every section that I ha well on every section that I have in the tactical uh, tactical systems. Some people say it's not entirely useful to do that, that the percentage of increase isn't that high. However, I do it. I enjoy it. Um, if people can justify why they think it's a bad idea, then I'll take that very heavily under consideration. Most of my other points are spent in engineering. The focus I had was survivability. Now, I know as an escort, especially as a defiant class, I don't have a lot of health strength. I think it starts off at 33,000, which isn't substantial at all. And I wanted to be able to survive those fights. I've tended to pull aggro off of the people that were more designed to be tanks and as such I wanted to basically live longer. Got the warp core potential up and again science all my stuff was on shield systems with the exception of inertial dampeners. And I don't do a lot of ground stuff so that's why these points are not heavily filled in. So let's get a ship. Sao Paulo. Now my weapons of choice are the phasers, mostly just due to lore. Um, also, you know, nostalgic reasons. But I enjoy them. They have a pretty good proc. So it's pretty nice. Um, but I got the advanced fleet phaser dual heavy cannons with damage times 3 plus accuracy. And then I also have the advanced fleet quantum torpedo, damage times 3, and accuracy again. I've mixed up my... Uh, sets in terms of deflector, impulse, warp, and shields. I used to always run Mako set completely um, for no real good reason. A lot of people have told me to switch it up to like Borg engines or Borg deflector or whatnot. But I find this current setup to be rather useful. It increases my health strength significantly. I am running at, I believe, 47,000. Yeah, 239 health strength, which isn't too bad. But I got the Mako Mark 12 Deflector, the Mako Mark 12 Impulse. I'm using the Advanced Fleet Reinforced Warp Core with the uh, shield increase. And for my shields, I use the Cap Times 2 plus Regeneration and Adapt. I also do have the Resilience B Fleet Shields, which I usually use in the STFs as, obviously, as you can read. Decreases Plasma Damage. My aft weapons... Advanced Fleet Turret, um, Phaser Turret, damage times 3 plus crit hit. Uh, one of them's damage times 3 plus accuracy. I think one of them might have been a mistake. Any, any event. I also use a Kinetic Cutting Beam. This I'm kind of up in the air about regarding its ultimate effectiveness. I like the fact that I have Kinetic Damage constantly regarding, or regardless of what uh, direction I'm facing in relation to the enemy. 
I find that kind of nice. So I've been using it and it hasn't failed me yet. Devices, I got the red matter capacitor. Weapons battery for those times when I do have my weapon strength go down. Engineering consoles, the uh, enhanced neutronium alloy Mark 12 plus the hit points. The enhanced RCS accelerator plus all resilience. And the enhanced monotanium alloy plus the turn. Shields, I'm running the field generator plus 18.8% shield power. That's really nice. And the shield refrequencer re Mark 12. Also kind of nice. Tactical consoles. I've seen videos recently um, where people are stacking all of them with the appropriate weapons type in terms of damage. And I've read a lot and I've been told a lot that stacking more than three is relatively useless. If you have, in this case, like five slots, what I've decided to go with, I got the three Mark 12 for phaser increase. Then I have the pre-fire chamber to increase cannon damage by 20%. And that last slot is reserved for my quantum torpedo damage. Because I do use them a lot, obviously. Uh, and I find this setup personally to be pretty effective. So let's go to the officer spots. I mentioned before my experience, um, hull damage on an escort is, uh, I guess, severe. If you lose your shields and cannot get out of a fight and they're pounding your hull dead on, then you're not going to last very long at all. So a lot of my my personal focus is with the shields. I have a couple engineering skills here like hazard emitters and engineering team 1. I find myself using those mostly to assist other people in my group. Um, typically the tank, I don't want them to die because I'll typically be the next one at the the cube or whatnot will be targeting so I like to try to assist them whenever possible but otherwise it's the shields transfer shield strength emergency power to shields and I run the two tactical teams that seems pretty standard from what I've seen and from what I've read it's always nice to be able to have this up whenever you need it otherwise obviously heavily focused in the the offensive abilities high yield three rapid fire three I got my AOE damage in my Lieutenant Commander spot with Scatter Volley 2 and then Torpedo Spread 1. And I threw in a High Yield 2 just in case the other one's on cooldown. I do enjoy torpedoes. And my Ensign slot, as you can see, is a tactical team. So this is my build. I have a video that'll be coming up after this one, which will be gameplay of infected space elite it was a pug group i've tried to record different uh, pugs that i've been in to limited success but this group happened to be very effective everybody knew what they were supposed to be doing and carried it through very very well so here's my video in the comments like i said i appreciate any kind of feedback you guys could provide um, I'm always looking to learn new things and to better my ship and my skills. So hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Pass it around. Tell your friends. Again, this is Delated Odin. I appreciate your viewing.